Tom, this blade after a while I showed Peter this morning with the old plate, it worked. You want to make sure this is solid. You rub it on the back. back in. Oh, it's curved, right? Yeah, it curved after a while, so you want to screw that out. I want to make sure this fits perfectly good. Here. The medical examination is free. <laughs> what are you waiting for, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure, he had his. I'm sorry, Rick and family, whoever's watching this video. Rick That's Rick. Aaron. <laughs> Little Rickless. Where's that cardboard I had? So that's going to be covered by whole after so I don't end up uh, contamination. Piece of paste it. Which hole? Hole at all? Yeah. I'm just going to make my base plate. This is the uh, putty that you have to seal all the little cracks with. What is called fusel paste? Fusel paste. So this piece always goes up then, eh? Yeah, that's good. You know, yeah. you can't go like that, eh? Some's got flat base plate, no ridge. That's for crane rail or cement slab. When you can't have reinforcement, right? That's right. You want a, nothing on top of the plate. So are you making a snake or a eel? Whatever you feel like. East Indian penis. Looks like a long, narrow, fucking little head on it. Maybe. Uh, oh yeah. So nothing on top of the base plate because this portion, the mold sitting on top. So if you have any paste there, you're gonna have a potential leakage. packing rod in my box is a little rod with a loop on it yeah, sticking out in a plastic box. So are we pouring before lunch? Yeah. Okay. Now I didn't warm up the rail. Can you get my thermometer from the truck? Check the rail temperature if it's over 60. And then we can transfer the propane to my red hose, the tank. If it's over? If it's over 60 yeah. and yeah. higher, if yeah. not, we have to preheat the rail. If that rail doesn't go in the track, you don't really have to. But if it goes in the track, it should be. It's not going to make any difference to look at it. Now usually there's another guy on the other side that guide me and get me into the hook. Oh, is that what it's for? You're in. In, so let go if I'm in. I'm not going to get my side. In the hook. Now you let the base plate try to get that even here. And even here. And we got to go together, but don't let it snap. Don't let it snap when we get to the top. Why don't you let it snap? Because I could break the base plate. A little shot. Oh, okay. Where's that rod? So that's the rod you gotta grab the end and put your other hand on this side to feel if the base plate moves. And we come under the base flush and we're just rocking back and forth. And then we go under. Under the top. Okay. If it's really wet paste, we roll take it. that off, roll it out so you don't pull the paste away. Now uh, that's the time. You see, you got a little gap here, but that, that's all right. The little yeah. gap will be filled with paste. Yeah. Too near. Got a spike. What's the rail temperature? Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Okay. Well, no. You can hook the propane to my. Okay. You want it at sixty, right? Yeah. Anybody? Yes, it would be in the track. We don't have time. To so how much? What do you heat? This side, this side, or just one side? Three feet on both sides. So from here like to... Like half a minute here, just to take the sweat out. Half a minute here? Yeah. Here. Don't direct any flame to those springs. So if you want to put some gloves... You don't have that, Rick, do you have so that? So that's like six minutes of 